Hey, what's up guys? It's Ivan. And in this video, we have another case study here for the product called Earn Live Green. And this campaign is by Eric. Eric, thank you for letting us use your campaign as a case study. I'm sure it's going to be super beneficial, not only for you, but for everyone else watching. And guys, if you have a campaign with some data, sales and costs, and you want me to look over it and help make it better, make a case study for it, send me an email to Ivan at IvanManna.com and I'll be sure to take a look and possibly make a case study for your campaign as well. So that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So Eric's campaign called Earn Live Green. We're spending $5 a day. We spent a total of $350 on this campaign. We made zero sales. And Eric, you told me you made two conversions. So conversions as in leads, right? Only two, and I see one here, but you told me two, so I'll go by what you said. So let's break this campaign down and see what's going on. So we're gonna click here. Let's look at our ad group, which has a 5% CTR, which is very good depending on the keywords we're looking at. So let's look at the keywords. So these are the keywords, lose weight, lose weight, with a CTR of almost 10%. So that's amazing, okay? This is a really good CTR. For broad keywords like this, and by broad, I mean the theme of the keywords is broad, not the match type. So like how to lose weight, you know, body cleanse, like things like that, these are keywords that are more broad uh, as opposed to long tail keywords, which are more specific, like fastest ways to lose weight, for example, very niche. Uh, a CTR of two to 6% is good okay so if you're anything above that that's very good so your average here is seven percent actually for these active keywords is seven percent which is very good let's look at your ads and that's what your ad looks like it says weight loss program 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed and your landing page and i have quite a few things to say about your landing page we're gonna get into all that here in this video I'm just trying to get a feel for the campaign first. So let's look at the extensions, the associations. So you have cycling extensions, which is good, but you don't have anything else. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's see what else. Let's look at the location where you're targeting. So for that, we might have to go back into the, into the campaign and see, let's see if we can access the campaign. Nope, I'll have to click on this option here and pull up the campaign that way. And there you go. And so now we can go into locations. And you're only targeting these places in Texas, which is cool. Uh, I'm guessing it's some kind of local business. However, my question is, if you are collecting emails, and if this does seem like a, seems like an online offer, why are you only limiting it to Texas? So the answer might be that it's maybe it's some personal trainer or something that you're collecting emails for, in which case it makes sense. You want to be in the surrounding area. But just something for you to think about, if you're collecting emails, you could potentially collect emails from anybody in the world, right? Or at least let's say all of the United States or all of Canada, and then maybe email them more information. Or if not, email them this offer, this specific offer. Maybe you can email them other products, right? Not necessarily this specific one, but once you have their email, you can do whatever you want with that email list, assuming I'm talking about good things, not spamming them and scamming them, right? So that said, as we usually do, let's go from top to bottom. So let's start with the ad. So weight loss program, 100% satisfaction guaranteed, get started now. So it has a really good CTR, okay? So you could test other things for sure, but I don't think this ad needs major changes. You know, like I don't think you have anything wrong here. The only thing I would say is you have way too many ad variations here. So what I would do is I would make one ad with only three. For example, one, two, three. And then I would pin them. As you see in my other case studies, I would do, you know, pin one, position two, position three, and then everything else I would delete, okay? Because you have no idea which of these do better. You have no idea. So you delete everything. You keep only three that you like the most, and then you're gonna save ad, and then you're going to duplicate this ad. You're gonna click here, you're gonna edit, you're going to copy ad, you're gonna paste the ad, and then on the new ad is when you can make a change. So instead of, for example, this one that you like the most, for example, get started now, you're gonna replace it with, I don't know, let's say this one, lose weight. And it's make sure it's the same pin. So if this was pin two, then for your new ad, you would replace it, you would delete that and you would make this pin two, for example, right? That's what you would do. And that way you'll actually be able to tell which ad does better. Cause right now you can't tell. If you look at view asset details, look at this, look at your combinations. I mean, you have dozens of combinations, if not hundreds. 
because you have so many and you have no idea which of them works, right? Google is not gonna tell you which one converted the best. You have no idea. So that's why, like even here, it just shows you impressions. So that's why I would suggest you just select three headlines that you like the best. Let's say the keyword in position one, call to action in two, and description in position three. And then in the second ad, you can replace one of them. And that way you'll be able to see what works because right now you have no idea, right? So that's one thing. Um, in terms of your actual words and stuff, I mean, that looks good. Um, I'm not sure about... So the, the other thing is you want to make sure like you pin some things because, for example, I don't know if you want this showing up in position one because it might get started now, you know, in position one. I don't know if that's ideal because if people are typing in how to lose weight and the first thing they see is get started now, it's like they don't know what it's about, right? So you might want to pin some of these like weight loss program. Maybe this one you want to be in position one because that's what it's about. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Maybe this one in position two. Like you don't want this in position one right? You don't want it to say 100%. If people type in, I want to lose weight quickly, how to lose weight quickly, and your first thing says 100% satisfaction guaranteed, they don't know what it's about. They have to read more to figure that out. So I wouldn't, I would, I would definitely pin some things here. And your website. So I know that you're using GetResponse, it looks like here, and you haven't bought your own domain, it appears. I would buy my own domain. I would spend like, you don't have to even spend a lot of money. You can spend two bucks on a domain that doesn't end in .com. It could be, I don't know, earnlivegreen.co, you know, because that's your product, so you can do that, right? Or if it's not your product, you can do, I don't know, healthyliving.co or whatever. It doesn't have to be .com, then you could buy it for two bucks per year, super cheap. If you do want a .com domain, which is what I do recommend, then you can spend, I don't know, 10 bucks a year, so it's still worth it, and it gets you a .com domain. So I would do that just because this doesn't look super pretty, you know, for people that are detail oriented that, because this thing does stand up, right? People do look at the website URL. They do see where they're clicking. And this seems a bit off. Like, it's like, why is it so weird, right? Why is it like that? So just something for you to keep in mind. So A, I would potentially change the URL. B, I would uh, just reduce these. That's too many variations. In terms of the actual content, this doesn't look bad. This looks pretty good. And your CTR speaks for itself. So you have a high CTR because the ad is good. Now, if we go to extensions, I would definitely suggest that you do extensions. So you only have two Cycling extensions. You can add at least two more. I think Google shows four to six Cycling extensions at a time. You can take that to your advantage. Do two more site links. You can do call out extension. You can do structured snippet extension. You can do, well, these are the three. Microsoft also has action extension, which is good. So at least site link, call out, and structured snippet, you can definitely do. If you wanna do price or promotion, like, hey, limited time discount, you can do that as well. So just something for you to, to do. I mean, it's gonna increase your CTR even more if you do it like this, right? If you add more extensions. So add extensions, reduce the ad copy in your ads and change your URL is so far what I would suggest. In terms of keywords, you have good keywords. You have some long tail keywords and they're exact and they're doing amazing. That's an amazing CTR, 10%, 10% CTR. Very, very good CTR. I would just potentially add more keywords so you can test, right? Because you do have here, let's see. Okay, so you don't even have any conversions from these keywords, right? So you would add more and then you would test which ones do better. You're basically paying for data, okay? Uh, but in general, with the keywords you have now, there's nothing wrong with them. The keywords are great. They, they are long tail, you know, except something like this, uh, but that's okay. But generally, yeah, long tail means three words or more. So that's good. In terms of location, I'm sure you know what you're doing. I'm sure you're targeting those few areas in Texas for a reason. So I'm not going to tell you to target anything else. So let's go into now our landing page. Right. And by the way, before we go into landing page, I would set up tracking successfully. So I'm not sure if you set it up like you, you set it up here with Google. Um, I would just double check that it is set up correctly. I would contact the Google reps, go to help. They have a dedicated team that handles tracking. I would contact them and just ask them for sure to confirm that your tracking is working because that's important. OK, so that's one thing I would do. Um, confirm that your tracking is set up because maybe it's not showing up conversions, but you actually are getting conversions, right? And that way you'll be able to optimize by ads, by keywords, by location, all that stuff. So that said, let's look at your landing page where I see the most area of work that is needed. 
So several things here. One is um, Forever's Clean 9 program. So the, the product is called Clean 9. So, se so several issues. One is get started on Clean 9. People have no idea what this is. Okay. So look at this. People are typing in, let's imagine, fastest way to lose weight. Okay. They see your ad that says weight loss program, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. They click on that ad. And the first thing they see is get started on Clean 9. What is Clean 9? What is this? Okay. They have no idea. What I would do is I would add some more information about what it is people typed in. So if they're typing in fastest way to lose weight, you're showing them weight loss program. I would over here type something about that. Fastest way to lose weight. Get started on Clean 9. Or whatever other keywords you're using, if you could tailor the landing pitch to the keywords, that would be great. But point is, you're not targeting people that know what Clean 9 is. They have no idea what it is. And even the, the, the title to that is like here, it's, it's a tiny little thing in the description. Some people won't even read your description. Some people are just going to read the headline, not even the description. So I would just des describe this a little more. Fastest way to lose weight, clean nine, you know, something like that. Um, in terms of the page itself, so here you have testimonials. So over here, I would maybe change these because... Um, you know, usually it goes from left to right, right? Usually people read from left to right. And usually when you see these before and after things, it usually goes from left to right. And uh, over here, you're saying skinny going into more weight, fatter. So just maybe if you could change these, that's one thing. Over here, um, there's no before and after. It's just a picture of someone which like could be anyone, right? And then moreover, when you go over here, I think there's that same picture over here. So it's like, is this client offering support? Is this client now working? Like, let's see. So this is a customer who is now working for this company, apparently, right? Because there's a picture of that. The other thing is over here at the top. So this is actually, so um, it saved me. This uh, form saved like my location and all that. But the first thing you see when you, when you click on the form is it says welcome message. So you might want to change that to say something like, hey, how can we help you? How can I help you, right? So just something as simple as that. Like like over here, hey, how can I help you? I would do that over here as opposed to it saying welcome message. So that's that for that part. Now, the other thing is, I don't know if this form works, right? So if we click get started now, it's saying information required. Okay, so I enter information. I enter Yvonne1234 at gmail.com. I click get started. And I have to enter this, that's fine, get started. And nothing happens, okay? I click get started and now it says email is already in use. I click five, for example, let's do a different email, I click get started and it's fine. So it seems like you are sending an email or something potentially, but the people have no idea that that's what's happening because now it says this email is already subscribed. So what you wanna do is you wanna notify people. You wanna take them to a different page, to a thank you page that says, thank you for signing up. We got your email. You have no such confirmation. People have no idea that they have successfully signed up. And that's why your conversion rate is low because either A, people just have no idea that they signed up and they just quit or they don't know enough about this product. You're just saying, get started on clean now. There's no description. Like, like, what, like what is this, you know? Um, you want to introduce this a little better. So you're saying nine day detox program, but I would say you should introduce it a little better. Like say, hey, are you looking to lose weight? Well, we have this amazing program that can take you from start to finish to help you look and feel better. It will take nine days, blah, 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 right? You want to introduce them from the start. You're kind of just jumping into it saying nine day program. It's like, but but what is this? Like, what am I going to get for from this? How is this different from other programs? That's what you want to do. You want to look at that edge. The other thing is over here, I agree to privacy notice. You don't need this. I don't know. I don't think get response forces you to add this, but you, I'm pretty sure you don't need this privacy policy. That could take, uh, that could um, turn people off as well. It's like, why do they have to agree to some privacy policy? I, I don't, I was a little surprised when I saw this because that's usually not expected. And get started on clean out. Yeah, so basically you want to offer more information about this page. Like you're saying get started now, but what is this, right? So this is a nice picture. I do like it. I like how the purple matches. You have purple everywhere, which is great. Purple matches, you know, looks good. But yeah, I would just fix these things on the page, make it more clear what it is, offer more information about this. It's, I'm sure it's a fantastic video. Let's see, I didn't even watch the video. Milk. So 
but I would just offer more information about it. How is it different from other programs over here? I would, you know, maybe make some more before and after pictures or change this guy over here. Right. So just a few of these quote unquote red flags over here, the website as well. So that's what I would do on your landing page in terms of the actual account. A, I would reduce the number of variations you have. You have a ton of variations. Like I said, I would just do three and then create another ad and maybe another ad, maybe three ads in total tops. You know, I would do that. I would check your conversion tracking. I would add more extensions over here. And as for keywords, let me see if you're adding any negative keywords. Yeah, so you have some negative keywords, which is good. I would keep an eye on more negative keywords and see if there's anything else you can remove. Like if we look over here. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty consistent. Like cabbage soup to lose belly fat. Like I don't know if like you got, you spent, you know, this is an outstanding CTR, but you spent four bucks on this and I don't know if this is applicable to what you're doing. Do you teach about cabbage soup, you know? I would say things more like these are good. You know, 10 foods to reduce belly fat. I don't know if that's something you do. Yeah, well, that's why you excluded it, that's good. But this, you know, foods to avoid. Like, I don't know if you talk about foods to avoid and you're spending money on these things, right? So I would add them as a, maybe add food as a negative keyword, you know, just food by itself. So if you go in here, I would just add food, not as an exact match, but as a phrase match. So just go in and just say food like that, potentially, right? Um, just make sure that you're not, like if you go into your actual keywords, let's see if there's anything with food. Yeah, you're not targeting anything with food. And as far as I know, you don't talk about food. As far as I know, I don't know, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there is something. So yeah, that's what I would do. And I think that would improve your deliverability and help you get more conversions, absolutely. So A, test conversion tracking, make sure it's working. B, make sure the page is working, you know, give some kind of confirmation to people on this page, that's important. You gotta confirm that, hey, we got your email, check your email, right? Add more information on this page, add more information about the product. If you can hire a designer or something as well, the page generally looks good, but it could look more professional. And, you know, like over here, there's, there's no space here that there's space here. Like over here, it just, it, it feels a little squished. You know, it feels a little squished in some places. So yeah, that's what I would do. And uh, hopefully this case study was helpful. If you implement the changes, I'm 99.99% I'm, I'm, I'm certain you're gonna see better results. I'm just, I'm that certain because these are pretty, pretty big, pretty obvious changes. If you guys enjoyed this video, I invite you to check out my YouTube channel youtube.com uh, slash Yvonne Mana, where I teach you guys how to make money online. I have a bunch of different case studies, podcasts, interviews, just different ways to help you guys. And if you want to take it a step further, I do invite you to check out my training courses at yvonnemana.com slash all dash courses. I have seven courses right now on different paid ad networks, on different you know, ways to make money online and you can learn more about each course. As you click on it, you will see, you will get a syllabus of exactly what I cover in each course. So, and then I have some free resources, of course, as well, and you can become an affiliate, blah, blah. But yeah, I invite you to check out my site and my courses and I'm sure you're gonna find value. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.